Hello everyone, my name is Quetic Rainbow, and welcome back to the Fallen SMP YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to install the simple voice chat mod which we have been using since season 18.5 and are using in season 19. So I'm going to show you how to install this for both Fabric and Forge for Minecraft 1.19. First step is you can go to either CurseForge or ModRinth uh, and download the version that you would like. If you don't know anything about mods, never used them before, I recommend using Fabric. But if you know that you like Forge more than Fabric, then go ahead and use that. So you're going to want to go to the top here and click Files. Scroll down, and you can either pick the latest beta versions, or you can pick the latest release versions. But I'm going to go with the latest version. I'm going to click this download file next to this Fabric file, and save that to my downloads folder. I'm going to do the same thing with the Forge one, but that's just for me, because I'm going to show you how to install both. Now that you have one or the either downloaded, we're going to need another mod if you are using Fabric. So we're going to go to New Page, search Fabric API, and I'm going to get it from ModRinth. Go to Top to Versions, download the newest version for 1.19. So now that you have the version you want downloaded, now we're going to install the mod loader. So I'm going to show you how to do Fabric first. You're just going to search Fabric MC, and then Fabric MC.net is the top result. I'm going to click on that. Go to the top, click download, and then you're going to want to download the most recent installer. Now, if you use Windows, you can use this download for Windows button. Otherwise, you're going to have to use the download universal jar. If when you try to run that doesn't work, it means that you need to go install Java. Now, I'm not going to show you how to do that today, but you need a separate Java installation in order to run the universal jar. But most people already have some version of Java installed. I'm running Windows, so we're just going to use the Windows installer. Now that's installed, I'm just going to click on that to open it and run it. You can see here, it's automatically set to 1.19, loader version, and it's going to install it into this folder. And I want it, you do want to make sure that create profile is checked so that you don't have to make your own instance. It'll just make it all for you. Now I'm going to click install. It's going to be really fast. Done. Um, and then now we have fabric installed. All right. So just like last time, we already downloaded the forge file. So now we've got to go to Minecraft Forge. Right here, files.minecraftforge.net. On the top left, we got to click up here to 1.19 because it is not the default page as of yet. Um, download the latest. We're just going to click here on Installer. It's going to bring you to an ad-hoc page, something I really dislike about Forge. So just don't click anything um, until in the top right, you see this skip button. So it's going to download this jar file. Um, make sure you have Java installer on so you will not be able to open it. Once the circle has disappeared around the icon, we'll be able to just click on it and install it. On this one, the installer is for each version, so you can't just open the same one, unlike Fabric. So make sure we install Client, and it's going to click OK. All right, you should be on this page here once you've logged in and everything. And down here, you'll see that says Fabric Loader 1.19. So this is automatically put in all the settings that you need to run this modded installation. So we would click Play normally if you had everything installed already, but we do not. So I'm going to go at the top and click on installations. Right here we have fabric loader. I'm going to go to the right here and I'm going to click this little folder icon. Now it has opened my .minecraft folder for me so we don't have to do any weird directing. If you've not run a modded game before, you will not have a mods folder. So just create a mods folder, M-O-D-S, all lowercase. Open that. You're going to want to go to your downloads folder. So I'm going to here voice chat fabric and fabric API. I'm going to click and drag that right into this folder. Um, and now I'm done. That is that all installed for Fabric. So if I go back to play, click play. Now, this will only take this long the first time you launch this instance. So don't get worried if it takes a while. Mine's taken about two minutes, maybe three minutes at when it, once it finishes. So I'm just going to open a little test world here. Here on a little test world. Open V, you can see we have all our voice chat settings. We can turn these things from push to talk to other stuff. Um, what's the default push to talk key? Default is caps lock, so if you press that, you see a little icon in the bottom left, and then if anyone else was on the server with you, they would be able to hear you. That is your simple voice chat mod completely installed for Fabric 1.19. Let's move on to Forge. All right, so now you can see it's at our default default thing to the Forge profile. You can see we have both of them here. We got Forge. We're going to go to the top, click Installations, hover over Forge, click this little folder icon. Going to go Mods here. This is where you're going to put your voice chat forge file you're all set this is also where you'd put optifine when optifine comes out from 1.19 on any other mods forge gonna click play understand the risks all right here's our game this is a forge beta as of now so just know 
it, there is some risks to it, but it's usually not that bad. There you go, single player, go back to the world, test world we just made. Here we are, back in the game. If I press those same buttons, V to open this, you can see we have this voice chat again. If I press H, you see it has the hidden invisible, hidden invisible. Press caps lock, someone was around me, they could hear me. And that is how to install voice chat on both Fabric and Forge. Now you are all set, whichever mod letter you want to use. Now you can experience the voice chat experience on Fallen SMP Season 19 and probably everyone past that as well. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy. Have a good one.